Jake Ludington here at HPE Discover, and I'm here with Blaine Southam. And over the last couple of Discovers I've been to, Composable has kind of become a bigger and bigger piece of what HPE is offering. And can you tell me what's new here at this Discover? Sure. So as a part of the Discover, um, we, well, since the last Discover, we've we've rolled out a number of new integrations, right? So part of the thing we're doing is broadening that ecosystem, a number of partners that have come in. So since the last Discover, we created a, an integration with SaltStack. We announced it at their conference, um, and that allows configuration management from users who are already using SaltStack to drive automation through one view today. Uh, we have integrations with um, kind of data center enterprise customers in Light and Eaton where they're using their tools to do power management of, of the entire data center. They use in inventory from one view to go out and collect inventory data to feed into their tools to provide them an accurate map of inventory around the data center. Uh, we um, are also working on building developer tools, so for internal customers or external customers that are wanting to actually build their own integrations, we've released new Java SDK, new Ruby SDKs. We're building additional integrations on top of those. Uh, we've started a blogging, a technical blogging program where we're doing actual developer-focused uh, blogging around how to actually build some of these pieces. So kind of a, a, a how-to section on, on how to create all of these pieces. Exactly. What about, um, so are you finding any feedback from these partners as they integrate that um, is giving you good insights into how OneView is actually changing the way people deploy? Yeah, a, a couple of points. So one is the composable API. Uh, again, this integration that we recently just did with SaltStack, they were very complimentary about the integration process, working with HP, and specifically around the documentation. That uh, you know, we kind of set up and did some use cases with them, but the development was largely done by them by you know looking at the external publicly available documentation for the API and and how to create it and do it. Um, and so, from from a developer's perspective, you know, it's it's pretty easy to get started on it. Uh, and then from the automation side, you know, a lot of the people are saying, you know, they have their own set of development tools and they want to drive automation. And so that's where we connect up with OneView, that it's a great automation in engine for the infrastructure. And so they use their existing tools, whatever that might be, and then we are building these bridges, these integrations to, to actually perform that automation through OneView. So, so an example you gave me earlier was, um, like, you could use Chef and, and do end-to-end -end automation and no one would actually even know that, that OneView is, is really what's being called? That's right, so whether it's, we, we have integrations, we're building one with Puppet, we have one with Chef, with Ansible, with uh, Docker Machine. So again, whatever the end user kind of is used to and they have in their environment and they want to drive automation, they can do that. And because of the unified API layer that's there, it makes it very easy to consume uh, the infrastructure management from the tool of their choice. Very cool. Thanks, Blake. Yep.